Want to speak real Filipino from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at filipinopod101.com. 15 favorite words chosen by fans. fans. Okay, the first word is bakasyon, which means vacation. I think I know why this one is a chosen word because like everyone wants a vacation. Yes, everyone. Of course, since everyone wants a vacation, then most people would be asking this. Kailan ang susunod nating bakasyon? Kailan ang susunod nating bakasyon? This means, when is our next vacation? When is our next vacation? Don't know. <laughs> well, on your next vacation, go to the Philippines. And you'll have a lot of fans. Balut. Balut. Our next favorite word chosen by is balut. I think it's also translated as balut because it's a, it's a type of food. Some people might not call it food, especially vegetarians and vegans. But balut is this, um, it's duck egg, which has an almost duck inside. Anyway, it's actually very nice. I don't really eat the duck. I make, I give it to my mom. But the other parts aren't nice. <laughs> anyway, as an example, masarap ang balot. Masarap ang balot. This means balot is delicious. I think it is. But I don't think that's the only opinion about it. <laughs> okay, our next favorite word is Kaibigan, meaning friend. Let me say something about this word. Because, like, you have to say it like this. Kaibigan. Kaibigan. Because kaibigan means friend. But when you twist it a bit uh, and say it like this, kaibigan. Kaibigan. That's kind of, it's not really a natural way of saying it, but it actually means lover. <laughs> So, like, when you tease your friends that, like, you think might be getting together, you say, like, are you sure you're kaibigan or kaibigan? And, you know, there's a saying, quality over quantity. So, maybe for people who doesn't have much friends, you could use this sentence. Kakaunti lamang ang aking kaibigan. Kakaunti lamang ang aking kaibigan. This means I only have a few friends. So, yeah, it's not always about the quantity. Kumusta? How are you? Well, for Spanish people out there, you might recognize this a bit because it comes from the Spanish como estas. Because, you know, long time ago, 300 years were of Spanish colonizations will make your language have some Spanish things in them. Definitely remember this, and here's one point that you should know, but when Filipino people actually ask you, kumusta, it's not just how English-speaking people would say, how are you, and then it's just like a greeting. When Filipino actually ask, kumusta, they really want to know how you are, so people really answer back how they are. Another favorite word chosen by fans is kape, coffee. And, you know, if you want to order coffee, you want to know how to say it so that you can order it every day. Because some people do not exist without coffee. Well, they are technically not yet alive without coffee in them. So, remember this word, kape. For some people, this is not true. This is actually not true for me. But it could, if it is true, you could use this sentence. Hindi ako mahilig sa kape. Hindi ako mahilig sa kape. This means, I don't like coffee. Please forgive me. Ah, it's just, it's just a sample sentence. Like, I do, I do like coffee. Maganda. Which means, beautiful. Yeah, I like this word. I do like this. Why do I like this? Because <laughs> it's nice. It's beautiful. Anyway, if like you know someone called Maria and you think they're beautiful, you could use this sentence. Maganda si Maria. Maganda si Maria. Which means 
Maria is beautiful. Well, basically, you could just add any other name you want to put in there to mean that they are beautiful. And I think it'll make their day. Or you could just say maganda ka, which means you are beautiful. Yeah, definitely make a habit of saying that to, to people. <laughs> okay, the next word is magmahal, to love. It also kind of means, well, not kind of, it also means sometimes to get expensive. So, make sure you're using the right context. <laughs> Ang magmahal ay magsakripisyo. Ang magmahal ay magsakripisyo. Which means, to love is to sacrifice. Okay, our next favorite word is malusog. Which means healthy. Yeah, I guess you want this word to be true for you and your family. But it's also kind of... Ah, Filipino is such a difficult language. Everything has a double meaning. Um, so when someone says you're malusog, it's either you're healthy or you're basically not thin. <laughs> meaning you're like healthy and growing sideways. Anyway, context, context. <laughs> but yeah, usually it, it means healthy. Like in this example. Mag-ehersisyo ng sapat upang maging malusog. Mag-ehersisyo ng sapat upang maging malusog. Exercise enough to be healthy. So you see from this context that malusog is healthy and not growing sideways. Our next favorite word is maniwala, meaning to believe. Why do you think it's a favorite word? Maybe you could help me figure this out. You could put your... Comments in the comment section. <laughs> anyway, you might need this example sometime in your life when you want someone to believe in you. Maniwala ka sa akin. Maniwala ka sa akin. This means believe in me. Yes, please believe that I know Filipino. Please believe that I know Filipino. Because I'm Filipino. <laughs> Masaya. Happy. It's nice to be happy, so this word is a lot of people's favorite word. And since a lot of people can be happy, a lot of people can also be cheesy. And they could say this to someone that they're happy to see. And it is... Masaya akong makita kang muli. Masaya akong makita kang muli. This means I am happy to see you again. Well, I am happy to see you again here. And I hope you are happy to see me again here. So let's be happy together. Matulog, meaning to sleep. Earlier, it seems like people like the word for coffee, which is kape. But I think a lot more people like this word better. Yeah, if you don't want to feel a zombie in the morning, this is always what is advised to me. And that is, matulog ka ng maaga. Matulog ka ng maaga. This means you should sleep early. Which is technically impossible right now because it's like one Saturday in the morning and I have a lot of fans to work with. Here's our next favorite word. Pera. This means money. Can I borrow money? Guess not. I know this word is a favorite for a lot of people, but I think a lot of people also want to know what this sentence is in Filipino. Wala akong pera. Wala akong pera. Which means, I have no money. So I cannot treat you anything. But if we have love, that's enough, I think. <laughs> Respeto, meaning respect. This is easy to remember, but it's not very easy to remember to have most of the time, I think. So, something you should remember, not just the word. And so, as a sample sentence, I think this applies mostly to everyone. Lahat ay gusto ng respeto. Lahat ay gusto ng respeto. This means... Everyone wants respect. 
And I think everyone deserves respect. I mean, if they give respect in return, I don't know, it's that vicious cycle. Okay, our next favorite word is salamat, which means thank you. This is a very, very good word to remember and should be in your top favorite words. Salamat. It's easy to remember, but like most people do not remember how to reply to salamat in Filipino as well, which is walang anuman. You can always just say you're welcome. Okay, the next word is naihilo, meaning dizzy. Wonder why people like this word, naihilo. I mean, I myself do not like this word because I do not want to be dizzy. If someone invites you to go to the merry-go-round and you can't really hack it, you could say this sentence. Nahihilo ako sa merry-go-round. Nahihilo ako sa merry-go-round. This means I get dizzy riding the merry-go-round. If you're in the Philippines and you go to our favorite and only amusement park near Manila, you probably know what a flying fiesta is. And usually people are nahihilo in the flying fiesta. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Filipino listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? May isang babae na nagtatanong sa salesman sa isang tindahan ng libro. Anong libro ang gustong makita ng babae? Mawalang galang lang, gusto ko sanang makita yung libro sa istanteng iyon. Anong libro ang gusto mo? Yung tungkol sa mga kotse. Sandali lang. Eto ba? Oo, iyan nga. Eto na. Anong libro ang gustong makita ng babae? May isang babae na nagtatanong sa salesman sa isang tindahan ng libro. Anong libro ang gustong makita ng babae? Mawalang galang lang, gusto ko sanang makita yung libro sa istanteng iyon. Anong libro ang gusto mo? Yung tungkol sa mga kotse. Sandali lang. Eto ba? Oo, iyan nga. Eto na. May isang babae at isang lalaki na tumitingin sa menu sa isang kainan. Ano ang o-orderin ng lalaki? Ano ang o-orderin mo? Mukhang masarap ang pizza. Sa palagay ko, yun ang o-orderin ko. Nagpizza ako kahapon. Kaya... Okay. Ano kaya kung hamburger? Mukhang masarap. Sige, yun ang o-orderin ko. Ano ang o-orderin ng lalaki? May isang babae at isang lalaki na tumitingin sa menu sa isang kainan. Ano ang o-orderin ng lalaki? Ano ang o-orderin mo? Mukhang masarap ang pizza. Sa palagay ko, yun ang o-orderin ko. Nagpizza ako kahapon. Kaya... Okay. Ano kaya kung hamburger? Mukhang masarap. Sige, yun ang o-orderin ko. May isang lalaki na tumatawag sa opisina ng isang doktor. Anong oras niya kailangan na nasa opisina ng doktor? Hello, anong kailangan nyo? Anong oras kayo magsasara ngayon? Nagsasara kami ng alas 6, pero pumunta na kayo bago mag-alas 5.30. Okay, salamat. Anong oras niya kailangan na nasa opisina ng doktor? May isang lalaki na tumatawag sa opisina ng isang doktor. Anong oras niya kailangan na nasa opisina ng doktor? Hello, anong kailangan nyo? Anong oras kayo magsasara ngayon? 
Nagsasara kami ng alasais. Pero pumunta na kayo bago mag-alas 5.30. Okay, salamat. May isang lalaki at isang babae na tumitingin sa isang larawan. Anong larawan ang tinitignan nila? Ito yung larawan ng soccer team kung saan miyembro ang anak mo, hindi ba? Sino dito ang anak mo? Ito. Ah, siya ang pinakamatangkad. Oo, mas matangkad pa siya kaysa sa akin. Anong larawan ang tinitignan nila? May isang lalaki at isang babae na tumitingin sa isang larawan. Anong larawan ang tinitignan nila? Ito yung larawan ng soccer team kung saan miyembro ang anak mo, hindi ba? Sino dito ang anak mo? Ito. Ah, siya ang pinakamatangkad. Oo, mas matangkad pa siya kaysa sa akin. Want to speak real Filipino from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at filipinopod101.com. 10 hardest words to pronounce. Okay, so just try and say these words and I'm sure like your Filipino friends will be very impressed. Try practicing these words so you can pronounce it properly. Baba baba, going down. This first one is actually a sentence and it's just made of one syllable which is ba. So it goes baba baba, it means going down. Baba means down. And baba ba means going down. And the ba at the end is like our question marking particle. So baba baba. If you are going down and someone asks this to you, then you just reply with o oh, o oh, meaning yes or or baba ba. So baba baba, baba ba. It's like the longest conversation in Filipino using one syllable. Bulaklak, flower. Okay, next is bulaklak meaning flower. For example, mabango ang bulaklak. The flower smells good. Dumadagundong, rumbling. Dumadagundong, meaning rumbling. Doesn't it sound like it's a rumbling noise? Like, dumadagundong. It's like all the bass in that word. For example, dumadagundong na ang bagyo sa labas. The storm is already rumbling outside. Dumadagundong. 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 Di ka pani paniwala. Unbelievable. Next is, di ka pani paniwala, meaning unbelievable. For example, di ka pani paniwala ang sinapit ng pamilya niya. The plight of his family is unbelievable. Kagilagilalas. Astounding. Next is, kagilagilalas, which means astounding. Hindi na ako nakakakita ng kagilagilalas na pangyayari. I no longer see any astounding events. Kinakailangan. Important. Next one is kinakailangan, meaning important. Kinakailangan laging maging tapat sa trabaho. We must always be honest at work. Kumukuti-kutitap, twinkling. Next one is kumukuti-kutitap, meaning twinkling. So I guess the hard part of this is like the vowels because like it's mostly u, but there's like i and a somewhere. Kumu kuti kuti tap. I guess the only way to pronounce this is to remember all the syllables. Kumu kuti kuti tap. Twinkling. Ang between ay kumu kuti kuti tap. The star is twinkling. How would you even sing like twinkle twinkle little star? Kumu kuti kuti tap. Kumu kuti kuti tap. Try to try to say it very fast. Like kumu kuti kuti tap. Kumu kuti kuti tap. Kumu kuti kuti tap. Mamasa-masa, moist. The next is mamasa-masa, meaning moist. You have to be careful of the accents here because masa means moist, but there's another word spelled the same called masa, which means the masses. So masa and masa. So just be careful to say it as masa. Mamasa-masa. For example, mamasa-masa pa ang damo. The grass is still moist. Misterioso, 
mysterious. Next one is misterioso, meaning mysterious. I don't know, it sounds like it's easy enough to pronounce, like just mis mysterious becomes misterios with an O at the end. Like Spanish people can do it. Misterioso. For example, siya ay isang misteryosong babae, meaning she is a mysterious woman. Patalastas, commercial. Next one is patalastas, meaning commercial. This one, I actually had a problem saying this when I was a kid, and I just, yeah, I just remember it being very hard for me, but yeah, now it's fine. For example, laging maraming patalastas ang laban ni Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's fights always have a lot of commercials. Cause yeah, those things like involve a lot of money. So they need a lot of commercials. May isang babae na bumili ng kama. Saan niya ito ilalagay? Malaki ang kamang ito. Oo nga eh. Hindi ko nga mailagay malapit sa pinto. Ilagay natin sa dulo ng kwarto. Ilagay kaya natin sa gitna. Huwag. Ilagay natin sa dulo. Sige, mukhang mainam. Pwede mo ba akong tulungan na buhati ng kama? Saan niya ito ilalagay? May isang babae na bumili ng kama. Saan niya ito ilalagay? Malaki ang kamang ito. Oo nga eh. Hindi ko nga mailagay malapit sa pinto. Ilagay natin sa dulo ng kwarto. Ilagay kaya natin sa gitna. Huwag. Ilagay natin sa dulo. Sige, mukhang mainam. Pwede mo ba akong tulungan na buhati ng kama? The 10 questions you should know in Filipino. So let's begin. Anong pangalan mo? What's your name? The first question that you should know is Anong pangalan mo? In English, what's your name? So, how do you answer this question? For instance, my name is Erica. So in Filipino, I would say Ako si Erica or I'm Erica. This is a very useful uh, question when you want to get to know other people. So you better remember this. Anong pangalan mo? In English, what's your name? Kamusta? How are you? The next question that you should know is Kamusta? Or in English, how are you? How do you respond to this question? You say, Mabuti naman. Ikaw? Or, I'm good. You? So, this is also again another very common question that you can ask your friends just because you're friends. So, you have to know how they are. Parang lagi na lang baga sarcastic yung. <laughs> Actually, the longer version is kamusta ka, but no one really says that now. So, you can just simply say kamusta. Yeah, or even shorter, you can just say musta. So, it's very nice actually to say this to people, especially if you haven't seen them for a long time. Taga saan ka? Where are you from? So, the next question that you should know is Taga saan ka? Or in English, where are you from? So, how do you answer this question? If you are, say, from Manila, then you reply, Taga Maynila ako. Or, I'm from Manila. So, say you are from, from Lisbon, <laughs> then you'd say, Taga Lisbon ako. Or, I'm from Lisbon. So, this is also a very uh, important question to know, especially if you're just meeting someone for the first time. So, I don't know, just people are very interested in where you go home. <laughs> Or where are you where are you from? Not really where you go home. Kailan ang iyong kaarawan? When is your birthday? Kailan ang iyong kaarawan? In English, when is your birthday? So if you want to really uh, respond to this question in fluent Filipino, then you would say sa ikadalawampu't lima ng Disyembre ang aking kaarawan. Or in English, this translates to my birthday is on December 25th. If it's December 25th, then obviously your birthday is on Christmas. But if say, say August 9th, then you would say in Filipino, ikasham ng Agosto. But no one really says that, so you just say August 9th. Just say August 9th. Ang kaarawan ko ay sa August 9th. Or my birthday is on August 9th. Saan ka nakatira? Where do you live? Saan ka nakatira? Or, where do you live? 
So, for example, you live in uh, Makati City, which is the uh, business district. So, you will say, nakatira ako sa Makati or I live in Makati. Saan ka nagtatrabaho? Where do you work? The next question that you should know is, saan ka nagtatrabaho? Or, where do you work? So, for example, you want to say that you work uh, at Intel. Or sometimes there's call center in Intel, right? So, uh-huh. there are many call centers in the Philippines and many like uh, younger Filipinos work in call centers. And so, you can say, nagtatrabaho ako sa Intel. Or, I work at Intel. And then, the, usually, the follow-up question would be, what do you do at Intel? So, then you would say, oh, uh, I'm a call center agent, or I'm a, what's this, like a, in, what is this, like, IT person? Or, I'm the CEO of Intel. Oh, wow. Ano ang phone number mo? What's your phone number? The next question that you should know is, ano ang phone number mo? Oh, we're getting really, like, in the closer territories. <laughs> So, for example, you really want to be friends with this person or more than friends. Then you ask, ano ang phone number mo? Or, what's your phone number? For instance, you want to give your phone number to this person, whoever this person is. Ang number ko ay, and then your number. For instance, 0123456789 In English, my number is this. So, usually people would still ask for your phone number. But usually they would say, uh, what's your cell phone number? Saan ka nag-aral ng Filipino? Where did you learn Filipino? Saan ka nag-aral ng Filipino? In English, where did you learn Filipino? So, this is very interesting and very important to be able to respond to this. When the person that you're talking to is really like amazed with your Filipino, so you better reply with, <laughs> Nag-aral ako gamit ang filipinopod101.com or I studied with filipinopod101.com. So where did you learn Filipino? Mahilig ka ba sa pagkain Pilipino? Do you like Filipino food? Mahilig ka ba sa pagkain Pilipino? Or do you like Filipino food? For instance, you really do. <laughs> so how do you respond to this question? You say, Oo, lalung lalo na ang adobo. If adobo is your favorite. Or it can be kare-kare. Then you would say, Oo, lalung lalo na ang kare-kare. In English, Yes, especially kare-kare or adobo. This is very uh, important question to know because you usually get asked this question when you, say, go to uh, gatherings or parties or just like um, when you're staying in a friend's, Filipino friend's house, right? Their moms would usually ask you, oh, do you like Filipino food? What do you want to eat? And then they will most probably give you that food, serve you that food. They're very hospitable. Saan ang magandang pasyalan sa Pilipinas? Where is it nice to go to in the Philippines? The next question that you should know is, Saan ang magandang pasyalan sa Pilipinas? In English, where is it nice to go to in the Philippines? If I'm going to give an advice now, I would say Palawan, definitely. And you would see, just type Palawan in Google, you would see really beautiful pictures. But if you want to be really specific, where exactly in Palawan, then either El Nido or Coron. So, for instance, I would say Sa Coron, Palawan. Or in English, In Coron, Palawan. It's very nice actually, very cheap and um, very beautiful place. So, I haven't been to Coron, I've been to El Nido. <laughs> I've been to El Nido, not Coron, not yet. May isang guro na nakikipag-usap sa mga estudyante. Ano ang mga dadalhin ng mga estudyante? Bukas pupunta tayo sa isang museo. Magdala kayo ng panulat at kwaderno at maiinom. Manananghalian tayo sa restaurant ng museo kaya hindi nyo na kailangang magdala ng sandwich. Eh, payong po? Baka umulan. Sige, pakidala na rin. Okay. Ano ang mga dadalhin ng mga estudyante? May isang guro na nakikipag-usap sa mga estudyante.
Ano ang mga dadalhin ng mga estudyante? Bukas pupunta tayo sa isang museo. Magdala kayo ng panulat at kwaderno at maiinom. Manananghalian tayo sa restaurant ng museo kaya hindi nyo na kailang magdala ng sandwich. Eh, payong po? Baka umulan. Sige, pakidala na rin. Okay. May isang lalaki at isang babae na nag-uusap. Kailan sila magpapamasahe? Kakabukas lang ng lugar ng kaibigan ko para sa masahe. Lugar para sa masahe? Gusto kong pumunta. May oras ka ba sa Sabado? Abala ako sa Sabado. Paano kaya kung linggo? Sarado ang lugar kung linggo. Paano kaya kung biyernes? Okay. Kailan sila magpapamasahe? May isang lalaki at isang babae na nag-uusap. Kailan sila magpapamasahe? Kakabukas lang ng lugar ng kaibigan ko para sa masahe. Lugar para sa masahe? Gusto kong pumunta. May oras ka ba sa Sabado? Abala ako sa Sabado. Paano kaya kung linggo? Sarado ang lugar kung linggo. Paano kaya kung biyernes? Okay. May isang babae na nakikipag-usap sa isang salesman. Sa aling palapag na ngayon papunta ang babae? Mawalang galang lang. Saan ang mga damit para sa babae? Sa ikatlo, ikaapat at ikalimang palapag po. Sa aling palapag kayo may mga coat? Sa ikaapat na palapag po. Naroon banda ang elevator. Sa ikaapat na palapag? Salamat. Sa aling palapag na ngayon, papunta ang babae. May isang babae na nakikipag-usap sa isang salesman. Sa aling palapag na ngayon, papunta ang babae. Mawalang galang lang. Saan ang mga damit para sa babae? Sa ikatlo, ikaapat at ikalimang palapag po. Sa aling palapag kayo may mga coat? Sa ikaapat na palapag po. Naroon banda ang elevator. Sa ikaapat na palapag, salamat. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Want to speak real Filipino from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at filipinopod101.com. The top 25 phrases. Let's begin. Kamusta ka? Hello, how are you? The first phrase is Kamusta ka? Hello or how are you? So you, when you're meeting someone for the first time, you try to be a bit more polite and say, instead of Kamusta ka, you say Kamusta po kayo? Which is the same as hello, how are you? Magandang umaga. Good morning. So the next word is Magandang umaga, which means good morning. People that are very, very warm, very kind. So it's very common to hear like people greeting each other when they pass by each other in the corridor and like in the classroom, for example, in the office. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Magandang tanghali. Good noon. So now what do we say when it's noon? We say magandang tanghali. Good noon. In the Philippines, especially for especially during lunchtime, when you come in and then like it's everyone everyone is eating you always say magandang tanghali and then when they hear you say it you sound as if you're a native speaker magandang hapon good afternoon okay so when the morning is done noon is over then what do you say magandang hapon good afternoon magandang gabi good evening So if you want to say good evening, you say magandang gabi. Anong pangalan mo? What's your name? So what if you're going to ask someone for their name? So you say anong pangalan mo? Or what's your name? If you meet someone for the first time, if it's the morning, you say good morning. What's your name? Magandang umaga, anong pangalan mo? When you want to ask someone for their name, you need to be polite. So You add po, 
which is the particle. And then you use the plural form of you. So you say, ano pong pangalan nyo? Ako si, I'm. If you are on the receiving end of that question, then you say, ako si, name. Or, I'm, name. Ako si, Erika. I'm Erika. Ikinagagalak kong makilala ka. Nice to meet you. If you want to express now how happy you are to meet this new person, then you would say, Ikinagagalak kong makilala ka. Nice to meet you. Since this is the first time you're meeting this person, you should use the polite form, which is, Ikinagagalak ko po kayong makilala. Ayos lang ako. Ikaw. I'm fine. And you? When someone asks you, how are you? Of course, either you are okay or you're not. You will say, you are fine. So how do you say it in Filipino? You would say, ayos lang ako. Ikaw. In English, I'm fine. And you? Or if you are not okay, you can say, ayos lang ako. Ikaw. Paki. Please. So if you want to ask someone for a favor, what would you say? In English, we say, please. In Filipino, we use a prefix that we say as paki. We add to another verb. So, for example, we say, please bring this to the office. Then, you will say in Filipino, pakidala ito sa opisina. Salamat. Thank you. Salamat. Or, thank you. Walang anuman. You're welcome. Then, you also want to be polite and say, you're welcome. Or in Filipino, walang anuman. Oo. Yes. How do you express agreement in Filipino? You say, oo. Which means, yes. Very simple. For example, there's an older person uh, talking to you and you want to say yes. Uh, you should be a bit more polite and say, opo. Hindi. No. So what if you want to say no? Then you use hindi. Or if you want to be polite, you say hindi po. Sige. Okay. So, say you have a friend that, who asks you, do you want to drink with me all night, have party all night, you know, those kind of things. <laughs> and then you say, yeah, fine, okay. So, in Filipino, you say, sige. Paumanhin. Excuse me. So, for example, you have an older colleague at work and um, this person is busy, but you need to ask her for something. So, you say, excuse me. And in Filipino, you say, paumanhin, or paumanhin po, to be more polite. Patawad, I'm sorry. If you did something really, really bad, then we use patawad. I'm sorry. Anong oras na? What time is it? So what does anong oras na mean? It means, what time is it? Nasaan ang CR? Where is the restroom? Nasaan ang CR? Or, to be polite, because even at that time, you have to be polite, even if it's like really urgent. You have to be polite. You say, nasaan po ang CR? Hindi ko alam. I don't know. Hindi ko alam. I don't know. If your boss asks you, oh, where is your office mate, this person? And then you don't know, then you say, hindi ko po alam. Sandali lang. Wait a moment. So if you say to your boss, because your boss is asking you, where is the report? You want to say, wait a moment. So you say, sandali lang po. So your friends came over to your house and you haven't taken a bath. You haven't fixed yourself. And then your friends just want to go out to have fun. But you want to say, wait a moment, wait a minute. Give me like an hour or something to at least get ready. So you would say, sandali lang. Magkano ito? How much is this? So you finally got dressed and then you went out with your friend and you are at the mall, like looking at some uh, nice pearls because in the Philippines we have lots of pearls. How, how will you ask the salesperson? So you can say, magkano po ito? Or if your friend, or if it's like a younger salesperson probably, you can just simply say, magkano ito? How much is this? Pwede bang makuha na ang bill? Could I get the check, please? After dinner, 
you want to pay because it's your treat because you forced your friends to eat adobo. So you would ask the waitress or the waiter for the check. So how do you say it in Filipino? Pwede bang makuha ang bill? Could I get the check please? Or if you cannot remember all these, just simply do this. Tulong. Help. So you're walking in the street and then you're very um, not careful with your things. So you're walking, you're holding your bag like this and someone stole your bag. Like, oh. You want to, to call for help. So what do you say? You say, Tulong. Help. And then you, you, the, the more you scream it, the more people will hear you. Hanggang sa muli. See you again soon. It's the end of the day and you've had fun with your friends. So you tell your friends, oh, okay, bye. See you again soon. Which in Filipino is hanggang sa muli. But in regular conversations, you don't really say this. We tend to say, see you or sige. Top 25 verbs that you will need when you go to the Philippines. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. Maging. To become. Maging. To become. Maging can mean to be or to become. Mahirap maging hindi tapat sa sarili. It's hard not to be honest with yourself. Gustuhin. To like. So next word is gustuhin. To like. Nagustuhan niya ang pinadala mo. She liked what he sent. Gawin. To do. Next word is gawin which means to do. It's easier said than done. In Filipino, we say, mas madaling sabihin kaysa gawin. And your mom will always use this because your mom always has many things that she wants you to do. Sabihin, to say. So our next verb is sabihin. In English, it can mean either to say or to tell. So for example, we want to say in English, don't tell our secret to anyone. In Filipino, you would say, huwag mong sabihin ang sikreto natin kahit kanino. Ipaliwanag, to explain. Ipaliwanag, to explain. Dapat ipaliwanag ng guro ng mabuti ang paksa. The teacher should explain the matter thoroughly. So for example, you're resting, looking at your phone, and then here comes your mom and tells you, magpaliwanag ka. Explain. This is very useful when you have to talk to your mom. Marinig. To hear. Marinig. To hear. Hindi kita marinig. I can't hear you. Again, you, you can use this when you're talking to your mom. Probably you can tell her, I didn't do this because I didn't hear you tell me do this. That's a very unsatisfactory answer for your mom all the time. Pumunta. To go. Pumunta. To go. So we can say, gusto kong pumunta sa Palawan. I want to go to Palawan. Tara na, biyahe tayo. Alamin. To know. Alamin. To know. Gusto kong alamin kung mas mahirap bang matutunan ang Japanese o Chinese. I want to know if it's harder to learn Japanese or Chinese. Compared to Japanese or Chinese, Filipino is easier, right? So, Please take the time to study Filipino. You will take less time than studying Japanese <laughs> than if you go and study Japanese or Chinese. So, you know what to learn. Kunin, to take. Kunin, to take. For example, we want to say in English, please take the bill so that we can leave already. In Filipino, what you will say is, kunin mo na ang bill natin para makaalis na tayo. So, when you go to the Philippines and you eat at a restaurant and you want to ask for the check, just do this hand sign. Makita, to see. Makita, to see. Huwag kang mainis pag nakita mo. Don't get annoyed when you see it. So, what are the things that you get annoyed when you see? Dumating, to arrive. Dumating, to arrive. Dumating na ang pinakahihintay mong balita. Your long-awaited news has finally arrived. Isipin, to think. Isipin, to think. Isipin nating mabuti bago magdesisyon. Let's think of it thoroughly before making a decision. Actually, this is very important because every day of your life you have to think. Tumingin, to look. Tumingin, to look. Huwag kang tumingin sa malayo pag may kausap ka. 
don't look far away when you're talking with someone. Because obviously, you're talking with someone, right? How would it feel like if you're talking to this person face to face and you're looking at the side like this? Naisin. To want. Naisin. To want. I want to become an engineer rather than be a doctor. Mas nais kong maging inhinyero kaysa maging doktor. Magbigay. To give. Magbigay. To give. For example, someone asks you, oh, who can give me advice on something? And then you say, Alex gives excellent advice on whatever that is. In Filipino, how you would say it, magaling magbigay ng payo si Alex. Gamitin. To use. Gamitin. To use. So for example, um, I don't know where you can use gamit. Ah, no, actually you can use gamitin a lot. For example, let's use it in a proper sentence. <laughs> Hindi natin pwedeng gamitin ang may nakasulat na bawal gamitin. So, in English, we can say, we can't use the ones which are marked, don't use. I have a pretty straightforward, don't use it. Hanapin, to find. Hanapin, to find. You're asking your mom, where is this thing that I'm looking for? So, she says, pina, find it in the second drawer. In Filipino, it means, hanapin mo sa ikalawang drawer. Usually, your mom will call you pina, according to her, if you don't use your eyes to look for things. It's actually, it's very useful. So, just remember that if you are going to look for something, don't ask your mom because you don't know what kind of fate will befall you. You might be a pineapple at the end. Lumabas, to go out. Lumabas, or to go out. So, you want to ask permission from your parents before you go out. How do we say it in Filipino? Magpaalam ka muna sa iyong mga magulang bago ka lumabas. Ask permission from your parents before you go out. Someday, kids, you will be parents too. Magtanong, to ask. Magtanong, to ask. So, for example, you have a new office mate and you want to tell your office mate, huwag kang mahiyang magtanong kapag hindi mo alam ang sagot. In English, what you just said means, don't hesitate to ask if you don't know the answer. Magtrabaho, to work. The next verb is magtrabaho or to work. So, for example, you want to say, as much as possible, I don't want to work overtime. In Filipino, you can tell your boss, ayaw kong magtrabaho ng overtime hanggat maaari. Mag, it's um, the way you conjugate verbs, but it's in Filipino. And then trabaho comes from the Spanish word trabaho. Pumaso, to enter. Pumaso, to enter. For example, you went to a club and you have a friend who looks... 18, actually, who looks younger than 18, like a high school student. So you can tell this friend, you are not allowed to enter the club if you're under 18 years old. Or in Filipino, bawal pumasok sa club ang mas bata sa labing walong taong gulang. Maramdaman, to feel. So next verb is maramdaman or to feel. For example, you really are irritated with this, with a person and you don't want the person to feel that you're irritated with him or her. So, if you want to say in English, I don't want her to feel that I'm frustrated, then you would say in Filipino, ayaw kong maramdaman niya ang inis ko sa kanya. But I think you have to um, approach her <laughs> and tell her that you are frustrated. <laughs> so, go ahead and tell her. Subukan. To try. Subukan. This, again, some, like, really inspiring example sentences that we have here. You want to say to your friend, because you want to be really encouraging, why don't you try it before you say that you can't? And assuming that this friend cannot understand English, then you would have to learn the Filipino. You would say, Bakit di mo subukan bago mo sabihin na hindi mo kaya? Mag-iwan, to leave. Mag-iwan. It actually means to leave something. You want to say, in Filipino, mag-iwan ka ng 500 pesos or ng limang daang piso para pambili ng pagkain. In English, please leave 500 pesos to buy food. Tumakbo, to run. Last verb for this lesson is tumakbo or to run. So, for example, you are running and then you realize it's 200 meters already. <laughs> so, you would say, it's tiring to run more than 200 meters. And in Filipino, if you really want to say it, you would say, Nakakapagod tumakbo ng higit sa dalawang daang metro. Great work! Here's a reward. 
speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.